Hello, welcome to the first part of this asset tutorial. In this part, we will be creating a simple bow rig that we are going to use for different bow models in Unity in order to simulate the motion of a bow with the C Sharp script that I created. Uh, we will be using a modeling software called Blender. It's free, it's great. If you haven't heard of it, you should and you can't escape it. Um, if you want to use any other modeling software other than Blender, it's fine, but I will be using it because it's free. And what we are going to do is we will be creating, as I said, a simple rig. It will be the same for different bow models. So you can just repeat the procedure for whatever bow you have. And I will be opening up my display keys in here. So you will be seeing what I pressed. So you don't need any experience in order to do this part. Don't be scared and it will just take around two to four minutes. It will be fast, okay? So this is the first thing you will be seeing when you download the Blender. Okay, just click anywhere, just press. Let me actually open my display keys, as I said, okay. So now you can see what I press, okay? Yes, escape. Um, press A, press A, select all, press X and delete all. Okay, let's start by this. Press 1 on the numpad, 5 on the numpad. And let's go file, import, whatever your bow model is using. I will be selecting FPX. If you don't have a bow model to start with, you can find the bow model that I left for you in the meshes folder, meshes for rig practice and select practice ball no rig, okay? If you have your own ball model, you can just use that, but let's use this one for the sake of the story, okay? So first, what we are going to do is we are going to press shift A, then armature, okay, let's press Z to go wireframe mode, and press tab to go edit mode, okay? So this will be our first pawn, we're going to create three bone at top, three bone at bottom, and one bone on the string, okay? So let's start by pressing G and putting on the vertex that we want to deform in Unity. Let's put it here. Then press E to extrude, put it on here, press E again, and put it there, okay? So then, the upper half is complete. Just press A, then press Shift A again, another bone is spawned. So just repeat the same procedure. Um, and one more time. Okay, so it's not symmetrical, but it's not that important. Let's press A again, let's press Shift A one last time. And this will be the bone that we are going to put on our string. So just rotate it with R, then click on the bone and put it right there. You can scale it with S if you want, it doesn't matter. Let's scale it a bit more so it can be seen properly, okay. So our rig is complete, as you can see. This will be the rig that we are going to use on all different kinds of ball models. So you will just repeat the same procedure. Press A to deselect all. Press tab to get back to the object mode. Press A, A to select all. Then you will be pressing Control P, okay. With automatic weights and okay. We are done. Now we can export this model into Unity by export FPX, saving it and exporting it into Unity. So I want to tell you some tips before we end the video. First one is that you should always press on your object mode and you should always press Ctrl A and normalize the apply rotation and scale, okay? What this is going to do is if you have a model that is not uh, normalized like right now, you can see it's minus 0.000, 000 something, uh, it won't be 
it will cause some bugs in Unity. Okay, in order to avoid that, press Ctrl A and apply rotation and scale. Okay, this is the first one. And the second one is, if your bow model is something uh, somewhere else and some other rotation, like if when you press one, you're seeing it like that, just rotate it with R in order for it to, the center point of this bow where your character wants to hold becomes at the origins, okay? Place it on the origin, then press Ctrl, uh, I'm sorry, Shift C, and in object mode, set origin, origin to 3D cursor, okay? If you do this, you won't be seeing any errors and bugs in Unity, okay? This one is for bow, you, as, you can, as I said, you can just export it. And after completing the bow, you also need an arrow, okay? So what you need to be careful about the arrow, let's say that, um, okay, no, not that. Let's spawn a cube. Where is it? Okay. Uh, I'm just going to show you what I mean by be careful. Let's say you have a bow, okay? Let's exit the orthography. Well, you don't need to follow these steps. I'm just going to show you something. Let's say if your bow, you have an arrow mesh, okay? Um, so in order for it to rotate properly in Unity, you should press one, five, and it should always um, aim towards the Z axis, which is the forward axis of the Unity. If you don't do this, you will be seeing some weird rotation in the air. And in order to avoid this, you can just do this. Or there is an article that uh, you need to put. I will be sharing it in the um, description. You can create an empty game object in Unity and rotate that to the forward axis and save it as a prefab. But this is much more easier. So if you have an arrow that is looking at uh, some other axis, just make it so that it looks at the forward axis of the blender, which is the forward axis of the unit. And after you do that, again, apply rotation and scale, export that thing. Okay, so with this, we have completed the first part of our tutorial. Now we will be start using Unity, and I will show you how to set up the player integration version and standalone version in Unity with the models that we created in this part. Okay, see you next time.